All right, so welcome back. Um, I literally just recorded the variable video. The stuff is still on the screen. I just stopped and started recording again uh, just because I wanted to break this up so you didn't have to, you know, I think some of the videos we're going to make are going to be kind of like in that 20 minute to 30 minute range just because there are a lot of steps for some of the things I want to do. Um, but I want to try to keep things short and manageable for you um, whenever we can. So this was all about, the other thing is now that we're actually writing code, I'll probably create a repo somewhere with this code and start putting this up um, so you can always refer to it, or at least maybe I'll clean it up and then I'll do it. Um, so now let's talk about writing functions. So we've seen some functions. We see set queue, which is I actually believe, let's actually look at the help for set queue. So we'll come over to here and control H function. And set queue is a special form, um, but insert is a built-in function. Uh, you know, so there are these special forms, and then there are functions. But you can think about them kind of the same way. Um, basically, special forms just kind of break the rules a little bit um, because they have to do special things. Um, but anyway, that's fine. So making a function. So making a function is actually pretty easy if you if you've worked in. Um, in something like Python, you know, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. But basically, ah, autocomplete. Basically, Basically, you just have these. Actually, let me I can just go. Um, let's go to org mode. Um, so basically, in Python, you'll just have def, then the name of the function the parameter list, colon, and then the code, and you know that's a pretty familiar thing. In C, you might have the return type, the function name, you know, the parameter list, and then you might have, and then you might have the code in there. Um, so in Lisp type languages, there are a number of ways of doing it. There are things known as anonymous functions, which we may or may not get into. Um, but at a very simple le level, it just uses define. So let's bring up the help for this. Control HF, so describe function. Uh, it's a Lisp macro, which again is a little bit of a different thing. Uh, but you could think of it as a function in and of itself. And you'll notice that it's defund the name, the arg list, then there's some other stuff, the doc string, which we'll talk about a little bit. Uh, we won't, we, um, we're, we're not going to deal with this declaration for now. Um, we're not going to deal with interactive for now, but we will, or maybe we will, and then the body of the function. So let's say we make a simple function, and usually um, a very simple function would be um, you know, add two numbers. Let's call it add two. And we can give it an argument list. So let's call it number one and number two. Then we'll give it a doc string. And so add two, we'll add two numbers, whatever. Um, and then what it will do is it'll do plus num one and num two. And then we close off the parentheses and then we'll run it. And then we can say add 2 of 20 and 30. And if we run it, you'll see on the bottom it says 50. And that's it. Very simple. We've written a function. We can also bring up the help on this function, control HF. And you'll see that add 2 shows up here. And you notice here it says add 2 will add two numbers. It's showing us the doc string. And again, here, if we um, go to the actual help, we see the doc string. So that's where the doc string can be very useful. Um, so basically, that's it for adding functions. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to write a very simple function. Now, um, I don't want to do a mathy numbery function because we're in an editor. We're in Emacs. So 
most of our functions will operate on text. So before we do it, let's just get some text. So I'm going to use straight use package to install lorem ipsum because I forgot to install it before. And why don't we say, uh, why don't we uh, insert a bunch of sentences and yeah, five, just, just so we get some stuff that we can move around in. So let's make a little function. We're going to have no um, parameters. And we're going to say here is this is a simple, simple function. Doesn't, doesn't do much. You know, whatever. We, we, you know, I don't even know what it's going to do yet. And now we're going to do some things. So why don't we say next line, next line. And let's go next line a bunch of times. So let's run this function, or let's define this function. And then to run it, we can just say, let's run our example. And you'll notice that it just went down the five lines. So when you run the function, it'll just run our functions. And as we know from the first video, everything that we do, like when we do control N or control P or down arrow, up arrow, whatever, it's running little functions. So here we're just running it next line. Um, so that's that. Now, of course, we can do better because there happens to be a function called do times. And so why don't we say do times i5 and we'll say next line. Get rid of these. Um, I want to turn off um, puny mode. I just installed it the other week and I'm still figuring it out. That's what why the um, paren didn't delete. But if I run this, now, if I run the example, I again go down five lines. In fact, what do times does, if I say do times i, let's say 10, and I say um, insert hello, it basically does whatever 10 times, you know, i goes through 10 times. And actually, um, i takes the value so we can even do something like this. Why don't we insert plus 65i, because 65 is an uppercase A. And you'll notice that it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So I goes through 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So anyway, um, so why don't we do a little more with this function? Why don't we go down five lines? And then why don't we go, um, why don't we go forward a word? And then why don't we upcase one word? Let's go forward a word again, and let's upcase a word again. And fine, that'll be enough. So now how do I know these functions? You just learn them over time. Like I knew something, a lot of it is um, searching through the docs, uppercase, UC, uppercase, oh, uppercase, and you learn it over time. Um, and a lot of times you'll know that there's a function because you use it on the keyboard. So for example, I showed this the other day, I could say like control H, K, and I'm going to type alt B, and that would lead me to backward word, and that would lead me to that function. So I knew Alt B or Meta B move back a word. So if I wanted that, you know, now I know the function and now I can use it in my little program. So let's actually run this. So if I run this, great, or not run the function, but run the defun, I've made the function and now let's run it here. So notice I do control X E and notice that it went down five lines It moved forward a word It made it uppercase, move forward another word and then made that uppercase. And that's how you can start writing useful and interesting functions. I mean, this is not particularly useful or interesting, but this is how we can manipulate our text. And in future videos, we'll also see how we can um, read the text. You know, like like oh, I want to like turn, I want to get this particular word and do something with it. So we're going to do a lot more with this. These are just the basics. So there's one thing that I just want to, one more thing I want to show you with this, which is we've created this function, and I can just clean this up a little bit. And um, 
it's just an example, but I can't run it using escape X. You know, there is no example. It doesn't exist. And that's because this is not made to be an interactive function. And that's where, and I'll bring up the help for the fun again, that's where this interactive thing comes. If I come here and I say I want this function to be interactive, and there are some parameters that you can give interactive, and then if I run this, I've created it, but now I can just go wherever I want and I can type escape x example, and notice it comes up now, and I may have run out of lines for this to work, so let me do a whole bunch of cut and paste and reindent the re uh, whatever um and now if i do escape x example it just ran from where i was if i go up two lines escape x example and it did it again um so now all of a sudden by adding interactive i can actually and let's let me actually get rid of all of this to clean it up a little bit And let's do just insert five paragraphs. And why don't we do one more thing with this? Why don't we do key map set local control C Z just like we did before? But let's just make this run our function example. So now, um, am I doing it wrong? Key map local set. So now we've bound this to control CZ, so I can just be anywhere, control CZ, and I went down five lines and I turned the two words to uppercase. So A and then lower. I can do it again and it does it again. So now, again, this function doesn't do anything tremendous, but it's just to show you kind of the basics of starting this interaction. So in our next video, we'll write um, at least one function that I think you'll find legitimately useful and interesting, or if nothing else, kind of fun. And, um, you know, we'll be off to the races. So that's it for today. Bye.